fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to another Officer video today, taking a look at DS9's very own Miles O'Brien. He's right over there. Look how nice he looks. He looks great. Good to see you, Chief. And we're going to take a look at his abilities and how he works in the game. Now, he did have to get modified when he was released. He was broken. It's a shocker. It's never happened before. It never happens. Ever. Anyway, we'll take a look at how he works now and talk about when and how it can be affected. Now, keep in mind that Miles O'Brien as an officer is really going to be RNG based. And what we mean by RNG is random number generator, as in it's a, it's in a bit of chance on whether it's going to be valuable to you or not. And we were discussing some of this in our Discord earlier today, but here's what it comes down to Miles. I'm not going to give a lot of attention to the officer ability, I'm sorry, the lower deck ability, because it's just a warp speed bonus. Now, this could be useful if you're in like a tier 7, tier 8, tier 9 ship doing hostile grinding, and you just throw it in there at the very end for below deck. But for a lot of players, unless you have a lot of stats built into him and you've tiered him up a lot, it's not going to be super valuable. Mine being tier 2. We'll have a couple of uh, reviews here in this in terms of we'll look at some battle logs of tier fours, but this is how it works. Main thing, luck of the Irish. For three rounds, Miles O'Brien has a 30% chance of increasing shots against an Armada by 100%. So if he procs, he can proc in round one, he can proc in round 11, that is going to multiply the shots by 100%. So double. Yeah. And put it that way, so that technically, if you launched three rounds in a row, it could get up there and accumulate, but it will fall off. So after three rounds, that 100% you would gain falls off. But you can see it active and working in various logs. Again, RNG going to be critical here. This is an officer that is very important to get maxed, because if he's not procking, then you're not getting any benefit, and you'd be better served with something like Khan. But we'll look at those logs here in a bit. Now... Because he's been changed quite a bit in terms of having to get fixed, uh, some of the wording on the FCFC.space is a little bit different. Ignore the wording, but go with the rankings on the side with instant, et cetera, so you can see the percentages. 25, 30, 35, 40, 50. So you can get an idea of the proc rates for how they're going to grow between level one and then working up to getting into max. Now, there are several ways to test this logs for yourself. I used a Stella. Uh, we have a couple people at higher levels who use a few different strategies. The good thing about Miles O'Brien is he's going to be good no matter where you're taking him, no matter what armada that is. He's going to be good everywhere, and hopefully that's a big win for everybody. Key, though, as I said, is is he procking? So you can see right here, he procs round one, and you're going to see an increase in my shots for what the Stella would typically do. Now, for those that don't remember, the Stella is going to shoot a lot of shots against an Eclipse armada because of the abilities and everything and the research that you have into it but we'll take a look at other logs beside that now i do want to put on the screen our good friends over at xbox club so shout out june Bree. we're going to take a look at xbox club here reason being is i want to give you some direct comparisons so you see me i'm running kirk spock con a very common stella loadout next to kirk spock miles o'brien so just one variable and you'll notice that i'm doing worse with miles that doesn't mean miles isn't working it just means that rng is a factor here and if you're running solo Relying on one person's RNG, it could be problematic. But I do want to show you that this at least shows that it works. So if you look at these shots fired, 366 in 28 rounds versus in a 40-round fight, 550 was an average of the two. One of them did 560. So obviously, Miles works. That means he's giving you more shots, putting down more damage. Now, you can obviously argue that we could have run better results here. We could have changed it up. I mean, if I was going to solo, if I was soloing Eclipse Armadas, for example... You know, Leslie could have been more important there just for the real big ones and the more shots. It doesn't matter. This was only to show that he works and that he can be very effective, but will depend on the fight itself. Now, if you want to go to this log, this is getting JB to help out. JB took his pylum out and ran 5 of 11, 6 of 11 con versus 5 con O'Brien. This is what I was talking about, the O'Brien being valuable, because if you can increase the shots, you know, consistently then more damage with criticals ends up being more kills. And you'll notice that here, where the Pylum going against a much bigger armada, going against a 45 Cardassian, I went, I was going against this baby Eclipse armadas, but a 45 Cardassian armada, look, almost double in terms of how good shots taken took less and double the amount of shots in the same amount of rounds. So went with a critical build, 
then com then paired it with more shots. Now in this fight, the O'Brien proc twice. So this is a 40% O'Brien that proc'd twice. Now I will say I got kind of annoyed when I was going through my logs with like the 40 rounders and proc rate just felt really low. You'd go through these big stretches of nothing and that's just how RNG works. And then you'd go like three rounds where it happened twice. So that's the only really negative feedback I have on him. Now, the good thing is though, if he launches in those, uh, those three rounds together, like if he just happened to go one, two, three, those three rounds, well, all those percentages are adding up. They'll just roll off after it gets processed throughout the log, which hopefully in the comment section, y'all can see the value and you can discuss that being valuable. So mixing it with a critical build with more shots, obviously is going to, you know, give you a good result where the pylum at various points was shooting 21 shots versus only seven. So we know that big ships can punch really hard. The only real critique I can go past that is, you can see here, it is going to depend on what cruise you're running out do you find an advantage. So this was my friend Meta, who was using the Vorcha against a 49 Federation Outpost Armada, and you see did about half as well running a full crew with the DS9 crew versus just five, six Khan. But I would argue though, in this case, that five O'Brien Khan would outperform as well. It's just all about, can you get these shots to proc? Can you get all that extra to start getting put down on the Armada? And that's when the value really starts to get seen for O'Brien. You didn't really see it a lot with my Stella run because I ran a single Stella run that went 40 rounds or 30 rounds, depending on the fight. And with him not proccing that often, I ended up performing worse but it could also do better. It also comes down to how do you source them? And this kind of brings up a big point for me with this game. How are we sourcing these officers moving forward? Because Miles O'Brien, so far, there are players with him already at tier one, some even at tier two. This is an officer that needs to be tiered up to truly be effective or running it with some type of modifier that increases how often his officer ability procs which you can do in this game. There are methods to do that. If you're unfamiliar with those methods, well, we talk about those and show those on Twitch videos and in Discord and things like that and encourage you to join them. But, but with that to the side, sourcing is gonna be the issue. The honest answer is Miles O'Brien, as you can see here, is very valuable and can also be the best run depending on how you load him out. But, but you've gotta have sourcing for him because he is based on RNG. And if you've got a tier one, you know that you're not gonna feel it as often, but with a lot of these ships, especially four star ships, because four star ships tend to have lots of shots, lots of weapons, then he could be extremely valuable. But he's valuable to everybody. It's just getting him unlocked and getting him leveled up. You're gonna notice him. And I use him now in my Armada runs where depending on the Armada, instead of running six, I'll just run five Con O'Brien so that I get more shots from critical. But again, depends on what you're fighting. And that's just kind of the world we live in with crewing today, it's all based on the targets that you're going after. So what I really do like him for is if I can guarantee early round fights, him penetrating and him going off and uh-oh, we've got Stone taking out miners. Oh my goodness, are you cloaked? What is this? This is a Vorcha that's not even appearing on screen. Isn't that wonderful? Here you go. Now y'all can see in the background, running full synergy strike team on their very, very attractive Vorcha. A very pretty ship stone. I love the Vorch. It's probably my favorite ship in the game. I'm going to go leave this in the video. I normally wouldn't have, but I, I just, I can't help but lust after this thing. I know we're supposed to be talking about O'Brien, but like, look at it. This is such a nice ship. Like, I love this thing. I, I know it's the Klingon in me, but I just, I love it. Sorry, y'all. I, I apologize. We're getting distracted. Back to Miles O'Brien. Anyway, so getting away from this. Short answer to Miles O'Brien, value-wise, he has a lot of value in this game. He's going to have value because he works against every Armada. You can have several different groups you can pair him with. I'm going to start y'all off with running five con Miles, because that's something that almost every player in this game has. There are other things to do. We will go over full synergy runs with Cisco, Kira, and how they work when we get them all unlocked here on the account. But today, I'm here to tell you that Miles O'Brien is a good officer, very useful, and encourage you to unlock him if you haven't already. And Something that I think is going to be critical for you moving forward is using him in your Armada runs. If you enjoyed this video, as always, ask that you would like it. Hit subscribe and hit the follow button and ring that little bell. The bell helps you get notified of when we're going live. But uh, the biggest thing you can do is just let me know what you think. If you have questions about this, let us know because we try to answer those as much as we can in the Discord and everywhere else. Live long and prosper. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys. Deuces. That's me. Catch you on the next one. And enjoy those cumulative shots. We'll just have to talk about Kira next. So uh, today, we talked about Miles, tomorrow, maybe Kira.
What? An even better outro than the intro. For the Empire and glory to your house.